outer join, okay? Outer join, there are three types in this. One is left outer join, there is something called right outer join and there is full outer join, okay? So, let's talk about left outer join. When I say employee left, this is the symbol of left, it is open towards the left, okay? Employee left outer join department, then what I would get is, I would get, let's copy, paste, okay? So this is my table. Now in this table, if I take a left outer join, I would get all the tuples in employee plus I will get all the tuples in natural join of employee and department. So I would have, in my table, I would have P, okay? Employee ID is 256. Operations. And obviously we don't know his manager. So these values are made as null. Okay. This is the concept of left outer join. So if I talk about R1 left outer join R2 then it would have R1 natural join R2 plus tuples in R1 having null values for attributes in R2. Okay? Similarly, let's just take a look here. We have an extra research department. Just assume it's a new department and there are no employees working in this department. So if I take a natural join, I won't get the information regarding this research department in my natural join. So if I need to have this information, I will take a right outer join. Right outer join. Open towards the right would have tuples in R1 natural join R2 plus R2 tuples in R2 with null attribute with null for rather attributes in R1 okay so, what is the result? If this is my natural join result, I would have research and Jackie, right? So, I will have research, Jackie and null values over here, okay? So this is employee right outer join department and what was that employee left outer join department and suppose I want the information regarding Jackie and Pete right so I will take a full outer join. R1 full outer join R2 has tuples in R1 natural join R2 plus tuples in R1 plus tuples in R2 with null values for attributes of R2 with null values for 
attribute of R1. So, what is here? What is the result for full outer join? The result for full outer join is employee full outer join department. Okay, it would have the results regarding Jackie research. Jackie research null and null and it would have the information regarding P256 operations. Okay, P256 operations null. So this is the result of the outer join of employee and department. Okay. So we've covered left outer join, right outer join and full outer join. Okay. Next, we will take assignment operator. Okay. Assignment operator. So Let's suppose we have a query in which we want to find the address and the contact number of all the employees, okay? So how do we write that query? We will write that query as project or project is this, okay? Project name address phone number and email from employees okay so this would give me the contact details for all the employees now suppose I want to store this information in some other relation so if I have to do this kind of operation I would use an assignment operator. I would say assign this result to employee contact. Okay, so now I have a temporary table employee contact which is like this name address phone email okay so now suppose if I have to find the email of employee named Joe I can do it like this I don't have to use the original employee relation now. I can do it like this. Name is equal to Joe from employee contact. Okay. So assignment operator helps me in creating temporary tables which stores my resultant relations from a particular query.